Hi, Travis. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to Hoops 8, number 8 in your program, number 1 in your hearts. And AA boys, they might be in their final year with the word today about new classification, but they're going out with a bang. Week after Portland nearly took down Oxford Hills, the rematch tonight in South Paris. Bulldogs get things going early. Remy Jowani, the underhanded finish at the hoop. Other way, Cole Polkinen, nice interior feed to Holden Shaw, who takes care of it. Back and forth they go. Kennedy Charles, the sweet tip in at the rim for the dogs. For the Vikes, Polkinen was everywhere. The tip play on defense to Jake Carson, back to Polkinen. Oxford Hills 62-52 in overtime, they win it. Polkinen came up big when Pelletier fouled out late in the fourth. Noble on a hot streak. Could they knock off Thornton with the Golden Trojans at home? TA was up six in the third, and then Josh Valley goes on a run, hits back-to-back -back threes, the lead up to 12. Noble fights back. Jameer Rose, the step back J. The Will Davies goes to work. His office, his rules. Then on the break, ball doesn't touch the floor. Wyatt Benoit to Davies to Alicio Marcus. Look out below, 78-63, Thornton the win. Wyndham traveling north to take on Bangor. Eagles came out flying Quinton Lindsay from downtown. The double-digit lead grows from there. A.J. Moody feeds Crady Dixon. 57-45 Wyndham with the road win tonight over Bangor. Chevrolet hosting Hamden on Ocean Avenue. The Broncos working inside. J.J. Wolfington the layup. The Stags would start to get control. Silvano Ishmael gets free on the baseline. He finishes at the rim. Gio St. Onge coming off the screen. Knocks down the three. 75-55 Chevrolet. They are 8-3. South Portland hosting Bonnie Eagle. Many Hidalgo. Putting on a clinic with the hesitation moves and the nice left-handed finish. He had 10. Red Riot's lead would go up to 13, but Bonnie Eagle cuts it back to 8. Elliot Bouchard the flush. But Jalen Jackson, the give and go to Jaden Kim. 50-33 to South Portland. Red Riot's 9-2. They have Thornton on Tuesday. Bitterford at Sanford. Good ending here in Sanford. Middle of the fourth. Sanford up four. Here comes Bitterford. Travis Edrich in the three. We have a one-point game. Sanford responds. Makai Bougie in transition. The kiss, he led the way with 22. Then Liam Gendron working the baseline, kicks it over to Tanner McCann for three. That's a dagger, 66-57, Sanford the victory. Westbrook visiting Deering this evening. Blue Blazes having won six of seven. Andrew Shackley knocks down the three for Westbrook. Andrew Burke trying to get the Rams back in it. The nice move and the nice finish at the hoop. Other way, Ben Ugly inside off the cut. And Looks like he's trapped, but he finds some daylight somewhere and finishes at the hoop. 55-30 Westbrook with the win. Well, the KVAC dominating the B South heel points with four of the top six teams in the region. All in action tonight, including the number one ranked team in B-Boy South, Oceanside. We head up to Rockland. Mariners taking on Erskine Academy. Alex Bartlett with a nice spin. Finishes. And then Wonder Twin Powers activate. Form of a fast break. Cohen Galley to Carter Galley for the lay-in. A little later, it's Alex Collins, the foul line, Jay. And, well, this is what Ocean, uh, Oceanside does. They score 83-64. They're 9-1 on the season. All right, in Waldebro, Madame McValley hosting MCI. Panthers up big in the third. Finn Parmley, the nice feed to Gabe Lash for the land. He had 14 to lead the way. Then Kevin Sincere spots up for three. Count it. He had a 13. 56-29, Madame wins it. Lincoln Academy hosting Moranacook late in the fourth. Keegan McClure coming off a big game the other night. At it again. He had 18. The acrobatic finish. Miranda Cook by seven. Lincoln trying to rally. Gabriel Hager hits the three. He had 17 for the Eagles. But McClure and Braden St. Pierre, who had a game high 24, would seal it at the line. And Miranda Cook goes on the road for the 71 62 win. Winslow hit the road to take on Levitt. Raiders led by their dynamic duo. Andrew Pullen drives the finish. He had 16. Then pulling to Jason Reynolds. It was his night. He had 27, becomes the school's all-time leading scorer. Sawyer Hathaway had 20 for Levitt, but it wasn't enough. 63-52 Winslow with the win. Camden Hills made the journey to Nokomis. Junior Will Duke gets the wind jammers on the board with a spin move as he banks it in. Duke adds three more to his total later on from Owen Reynolds. 55-52 Camden Hills with the win. All right, Western Main Conference, Route 26 rivals, Gray and Poland. Late in the first half, Nate Hebert gets the skip pass, and he would end up burying it. Gray to Gloucester, holds off Portland, uh, Poland, 75-64. All right, conferences colliding in Kittery, Winthrop at Trapp. Trape working it around the zone. Dylan Santa Maria inside the hoop and the basket. 
End of the first. Other way, Braden Stubbert pulls it up at the horn. Later on, off a of set play, Matt Beck finds Cole Barr to add 17. Winthrop takes it 63-37. Beck had 20. Uh, and girls hoops, Chevrolet's trying to keep pace with the unbeaten leaders of their region, Bangor and Oxford Hills. Stags up at Hamden Academy tonight. They trailed at the half, but they would turn it on in the third. Megan Dearborn left alone. That's what she does, knocks down the three. Then Maddie Fitzpatrick inside, all part of a 15-0 run. 45-34, Chevrolet with the victory tonight over Hamden. Unbeaten Bangor hosting Wyndham. Abby Quinn is tough. The tough move inside. The Rams have a quick 10-point lead. They go on for the win 40-16 over Wyndham as they stay unbeaten. All right, Falmouth at Marshwood tonight. The Hawks had the lead in the early going. Shelby Anderson drives strong and banks it. Andrew Turgeon takes over from there. Hits Katie Lazaritis on the break for the basket and one. The Falmouth would get some revenge from an earlier loss to Marshwood. Check out this, Turgeon in the lane with the left hand and one degree of difficulty, 9.9, 46-34, found with the win. Deering girls visiting Westbrook tonight. Rams led by five early on, and Messerit Day is gonna add to it. The nice bank shot. The Nayabana, Leah working the perimeter to get inside, 44-32, Deering wins it. Their first win of the year. Great New Gloucester girls fresh off their first, or fresh off their big win over Brunswick, hosting Poland. Patriots not letting up tonight. Caitlin Taylor nails the foul line. Jay. A little later, Isabel Morelli spots up. Trey Bien, she had 13 to lead the way. 51-19. Gray, they're nine and one. Greeley and York in a big Western Maine Conference matchup. Greeley a hot start. Cassidy Dean swings it to Greer right. Count it. Then for York, well, they've just got two seniors. This is a sophomore. Emma Joyce drains the shot off the inbounds. Rangers out running. Sophia Ippolito to Asia Kelman. 46-29, really the win. Trape Academy traveling north to take on Winthrop. Lily Stewart finds Emma Hale. She was the right player to find tonight. She had 20. Trape up 10 in the first. But the Ramblers weather the storm. Ryan Soblovich drives baseline for the lay-in. And Morgan Fitchburn at 23. 48-45, Winthrop moves to 8-3 with a win. Veronica girls hosting Lincoln Academy. Eliza Pattershaw comes up with a steal in the backcourt and goes coast to coast for Miranda Cook. Then Natalie Moeller drives and hits the nice floater. Black Bears up five. Natalie Lee Kaler hits the three for the Eagles. They led after one, but the Black Bears dominate from there. 57-25, Miranda Cook. All right, Madomic Valley on the road at MCI. This one was all Madomic Valley. Kaitiana Williamson, the pull up from 15 feet and then the roll. Then Williamson again, this time the dish to Audrey Jackson. Madomic with a 58-28 win over MCI. All right, Coney girls on the road at Mesolonsky. Macy Freeman gets the Rams off to a quick start with a three. And then Abby Morell finishing on the break. 67-46, Coney with the win tonight. That right there is Hoops 8.